Hi guys, it's Robert, and I have a sweet and simple DIY project for you today. I think the first craft project I ever remember making was one of those fabric pot holders on an old school pot holder loom. I'm sure a lot of you had them as well. And I'm sure mine looked horrible, but my mom made such a big deal out of it and we used it at the dinner table and she actually even kept it in the kitchen until it fell apart, which was so sweet. And I began thinking about this recently, that the mere act of hand making something simple and utilitarian elevates it and makes it special. The holidays are right around the corner and we're gonna start thinking about big dinners with family and friends. And I wondered if there wasn't a way to take that simple utilitarian object like a pot holder or a trivet, rework it in a more modern way where it looked great on the holiday table, but still added a touch of warmth from something handmade. And what I landed upon was so easy. Essentially what I did was take a series of round wooden beads in various sizes alongside felted wool balls and strung them together in almost necklace-like configurations. You'd think something like this would roll around, but honestly, once it's underneath a serving platter, it's perfectly stable. They don't conduct heat, so they do their job and protect the surface of your table from a hot dish. And honestly, they're so charming in their simplicity. We're gonna make three different versions of these today, and all of these materials are things that I found locally at my craft store or online. The first version, I'm using one inch unfinished round wood beads, stringing them on some suede cording and interspersing it with round wood washers. This one is about seven inches in diameter, although you can make these as large or as small as you'd like. Tie them off securely and set it aside. That's it, you finished your first one. The second one is actually the simplest of the three, and this would be perfect to involve nieces or nephews or if you have little brothers or sisters, because it's essentially a lacing activity. The only thing they may need help with is tying it off at the end. It does need to be knotted securely to make sure that it maintains its form and doesn't fall apart. The third one is actually my favorite. I found one inch felted wool balls in great autumnal colors. I'm threading it on linen cord and interspersing it with small round wood beads. In order to do this, I used a tapestry needle. You poke it into one side of the wool ball and then press it down on your work surface to push it through those thick matted wool fibers. Wiggle it out the other side. It's not necessarily hard, it just needs a little extra pressure. This particular trivet is about five inches in diameter and use 12 of the wool balls. Once they're all strung on, tie it off tightly so it maintains its shape. I do hope you'll give this very simple DIY project a try. There's lots of room for creativity here. You can even experiment making napkin rings in the same manner in which you created the trivets to coordinate the entire table. Involve your family and friends. I hope it adds something special to your next holiday table. Thank you so much for watching and join us next time for another great DIY project.